Prime Minister has made his final stop on his 10-day around-the-world trip in Jerba, Tunisia, for La Francophonie. An excited French President Emmanuel Macron greeted Justin Trudeau. The two leaders put up the vast majority of the funds for this organization, dedicated to the promotion of the French language. But it's the deteriorating situation in Haiti that's also a major concern for member states. Tomorrow, Canada is set to host a meeting of 13 other countries on the topic. Today, Foreign Affairs Minister Melanie Jolie announced sanctions against three new Haitians. Everybody recognizes that there's an issue happening uh, in Haiti and that we need to step up our game and do more. So that's our job. The Prime Minister also carved out time to touch on a major domestic issue, discussing health care in a sit-down with Quebec Premier Francois Legault. The federal government had unsuccessful negotiations with the provinces earlier this month to increase the Canada health transfer. In response, the Liberals have now signaled they're willing to do bilateral deals with each province. The host of the summit, Tunisian President Kais Saeed, has frequently been condemned by Canada for recently granting himself sweeping new powers. Saeed sacked the Tunisian Prime Minister, dissolved Parliament and has jailed journalists. These concerns prompted Ottawa to push for La Francophonie to be postponed. Quebec pondered a boycott, but both ended up attending, using the opportunity to raise human rights and democratic concerns. Member countries are expected to re-elect the current Secretary General and vote to have Paris host the 2024 gathering. Trudeau will fly back to Ottawa tomorrow night, ending one of the longest trips he's had as Prime Minister. Farah. Thanks, Mackenzie. That's Mackenzie Gray in Tunisia.